So I could go on and on. You know, Greeks are very shy, but I'm not. Uh, and I'm going to try to reserve most of my time for, for discussion. Um, you know, we're talking about allies, antagonists, and arms sales. Uh, I, we should we should focus on allies that are really antagonists. Um, that's uh, I will talk about Turkey. I'm sure I will get a thousand by John. But uh, Sam brought up the balance between values and interests, and it makes me think of. Ben Franklin's famous quote, those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. For years, even though our essential liberty, we are in a country that was founded on religious freedom. It's literally the first freedom. But when it has come to security interests and realism and arms sales, we ignore that religious freedom. We ignore the rights of those religious minorities. We ignore the fate of Christians in Artsakh, in Armenia, in Egypt, in, in Cyprus. And at the end, it's our very weapons that are used against those minorities. Cyprus, uh, Maronite churches. Bishop, you're there, right? Not only Greek churches, Maronite churches, Greek churches, the, the St. Andrew Monastery, you know, the site where the first Christian mission in, in, in the Bible was, was in Cyprus. He's being occupied today with American arms. Churches were bombed. Christian minorities were bombed in their time. Look at those drones. I don't can talk about it. They have at least 10 American components in them. So tell me, where are our values are served by that? But it's not only our values. It's our interests. Right? What do we say about religious minorities? Religious freedom, they're, they're the canary in the coal mine. Right? And we don't pay attention. When somebody uses our arms to oppress religious minorities, they will eventually, uh, they will eventually oppose us, oppose American interests. That's what's happening. The American arms that are used to occupy Cyprus, they're also used to bully lesser energy companies that may be drilling for, east, for gas in the eastern Mediterranean. They are also being stationed in occupied Cyprus. You're having anti-access area denial weapons. Who are those aimed at? They're not aimed at the Greeks. They're there. They're not aimed at Israel. They're there. So that's aimed against the American Navy. So when we compromise on our values, we will compromise on our interests. I can give you more details in, in the Q&A because the bill of indictment and details I can get to is long. But we have to keep that balance in mind because the balance has always been let's sacrifice the values to safeguard the interests. And for people who want to do a little more reading, there's, there's a great contrast. Look at, compare last decade's report by the Council on Foreign Relations on U.S. Turkey, which Turkey was a golden child, the Armenian lobby and Greece and Cyprus, they were the bad guys for keeping Turkey from being in the EU. Same author, 10 years later, authored a report saying neither friend nor foe, saying Turkey not only doesn't share our values, it doesn't share our fundamental interests. A year after he did that report, he did a podcast with us, where he said, I would retitle it more foe than friend. That's what we should be thinking about today.